Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ratios and rates. This is standard 6.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 13 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So the ratio, and that's going to be important for us, of the number of boys to girls, that's all that's going to be very important, boys to girls, is 5 to 4. Now we can set up our ratio a few different ways. We can say 5 to 4, we can say 5 colon 4, or we can say 5 to 4. It can be seen as a fraction. All three of these work for ratios here. There are 60 girls in the choir. How many boys are in the choir? So this is a very basic proportionality here, and we are going to end up using this fractional notation because that's going to be very helpful for us. So let's set this up 5 to 4, but when we're dealing with ratios and proportionality, we always need to make sure that we include our titles or our units. So 5 to 4 is boys to girls, so we need to make sure we're very clear that we've got our boys and we've got our girls. And you'll see in just a moment why that's important. Now, they're going to give us another part of this proportionality that we're going to view as an equivalent fraction. So 60 girls, and the biggest key is where does that 60 go? Well, that 60 goes on the bottom because you always make sure you match units. So girls and girls are on the bottom. If you end up putting 60 up on the top, that's going to change things, and that's going to get us an incorrect answer. So then the question is, how many boys are there? So make sure we're matching girls with girls, boys with boys. And so let's just look at this like we're making an equivalent fraction. So when we make equivalent fractions, we think, what can we multiply four times to get up to 60? Now that's a little bit past our basic facts, so let's just do a little division just to make, make sure we get it correctly. Four goes into six once. That's going to be four. That's 20. 4 goes into 25 times, and that's it. That's evenly. So 4 times 15 is what's going to get us up to 60. So then we're going to make our numerator 15 as well, because whenever we want to make an equivalent fraction, we make sure the numerator and denominator are the same, because that's equal to 1. 15 over 15 is just 1. And when we're multiplying by 1, we're not changing the fraction. We're simply making it look different. So 15 times 5 is going to get us our equivalency. And 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 1 is 5. Add the 2, 7. So 75 sixtieths, which is an improper fraction. But that's fine, because we started with an improper fraction. So it looks like we have 75 boys. Now, how do we get some of these incorrect answers? I told you that we needed to make sure we matched girls with girls and boys with boys. Let's see how we can get some of these incorrect answers. What if we set it up like this? We did five boys, four girls, and we weren't really paying too much attention, and so we ended up putting the 60 girls up on top. Now, this isn't going to work because you always need to match units with units. Well, what would that do? Well, guess what? Five times 12 is going to get a 60. That's a fact. So what if we did 12 and 12? That's going to get you 1, which is fine. So 4 times 12 gets you 48 boys, which is this one right here. So if you flipped that 60 from the denominator to the numerator, you can get an incorrect answer. But that is incorrect. Now, How do we get 61? Well, if you had no idea how to set this up and you just want to subtract and add, well, guess what you can do? You could do 60 minus 4. So you take the 60. You don't even set up a proportion. You just subtract it, because why not? That's going to get you 56. And then if you add that 5 back in, you're going to get 61. Now, why you would subtract 1 and then add another one back in, no clue. But that's how you get 51. And then 80. Now, 80, this is what we do here, is we just do 5, 4. And that's going to be 60. Let's say we don't know our facts. Let's say we make it 16 rather than 15. Well, that's going to get us our 80.